Welcome to Lesson 5, Writing the Abstract. Today we're going to discuss the abstract, which is basically page number 2 in your APA style manuscript. It's found on the page by itself. It does not um, include an introduction on that page. And the paragraph is also never indented. So the, the first line in the abstract, you don't tab over or indent that line. Now the abstract, it's a one paragraph summary of the contents of your entire research report. And it can range from anywhere from 150 to 250 words. It really shouldn't go over 250 words in, in its entirety. Now, the word abstract itself is centered at the top of the page, about one inch away from your header. It's always written in uppercase and lowercase letters, so an uppercase A, lowercase uh, the, the rest of it. And the abstract itself should include a brief statement of what it is you're researching, a summary of the method that is used, um, description of any participants or instruments that you're using, uh, procedures, and you can also include results. So it's, it summarizes your entire research paper. This tells people whether or not they want to read it, especially if you're submitting it for publication. Now, it still follows the exact same font size, which is uh, 12 point and Times New Roman. And it still will, of course, have the one inch by one inch margins. That hasn't changed because, you know, we've already set that up when we did the title page. So it's going to follow the exact same format. I do want to stress, and I'll go ahead and put the abstract in here. I do want to stress that the abstract, as much as you're going to be tempted to write it first, you're much better off writing the abstract last. Now I know we're going over it first because it is the second page in your APA style, so it's only fair for us to, of course, cover what the abstract is ahead of time. But I would, uh, for any um, person doing a, a paper, a research paper, the best thing to do is wait until you're done with your paper entirely and then write the abstract. You can always put it in on page number two, but the, the point of that is you have a complete summary, and not only complete, but complete and accurate summary of what your research is. And I know this has to make sense, but a lot of the time you'll see um, where someone may be tempted to do it first. Now, how else can you obtain your results and, and have that in here if you do it last? Uh, excuse me, if you do it first. See, so you'd have to do it last. Now, if you look at this abstract here, you'll see that it's not indented. And by indented, I mean tabbing it over. There's no indent. And directly to the end of it, you'll see that there is an indent here where you'll see my keywords. Keywords is never going to be in caps. It's only going to start with a capital letter. You'll have a colon there. And then you'll see everything else in lowercase, all of your keywords. And you probably just need about five keywords. So this is, um, this is pretty much it for the abstract. I mean, the abstract, again, is a summary of your entire research paper. Again, it should be between 150 to 250 words. It's always going to be double spaced, never indented. Your keywords are going to follow your abstract. And my advice again is to write the abstract at the end of your research paper so you'd have a complete and accurate summary of your research in your abstract. Now, this was a very short lesson because the abstract, again, is pretty cut and dry. Um, no one can really tell you how to write it. It's just a matter of knowing what to put in there. And again, what it is you put in the abstract is basically just going to be a brief statement of whatever it is research problem you have, a summary of the method that you're using. Um, you're also going to include participants and any instruments that you may have used, what procedure you may have used, the results that you obtained, 
and um, any other conclusions or implications that you may have uh, come about in your research. That's all going to go into your abstract to give the reader an idea of, of what your paper is about. In lesson six, we'll go ahead and get into the introduction. And the introduction, of course, uh, follows the exact same font, the Times New Roman 12 point, everything else is the same. It just gets into what you're, you're getting started in your research paper, uh, basically. It's, it's, it's just the start of your paper, your intro. All right, until then, please feel free to ask any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them in the order that they're received.